Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to navigate through the Gear S2. So the Gear S2 is pretty simple navigation. Uh, you have the bezel ring, which you will normally navigate with around the side. And then from there, you also have two buttons. The top one being a back button and the bottom one being a home button. And technically you can change these around at any point, uh, but then it just... It, um, you can switch it around so that your wrist will be on the other side and just change out the bands to reverse them. But normally, uh, for if you have your watch in your left hand, it will be that way where it's back and home. Now from here, you navigate through your widgets on this side. So you can add, I've had a coffee today, so I can add that right there. So, and you can add more widgets, of course, just by hitting the plus sign right here. And then any apps you download that have widgets will be right there. Uber is a good one, obviously. So you have to navigate through that way. And then on the left side will be your notifications as they come in. So as they come in, all your notifications will be on that side. Then you can also, when you're on the home screen, hit the home button again, and it'll take you to your apps. So you can see all the different apps you can go through, and you can go through everything just by tapping the middle and you can see everything you can kind of go through which is just really simple and easy and nice now the other thing i like about the apps is how you can use them so if i were to go to my messages let's go through recent apps i think i was doing something with messages there we go so if i were to go to messages and i scrolled through my text messages I could tap the one I want, see what it was. I can hit these little three dots on the side, which are always uh, the settings you can do for that particular app. So on the text message setting, I can call, send, nav uh, send my location, show on phone, or reply. I'm going to reply. So when I reply, I can send a quick message like that, which I didn't mean to, but I did. And I can also not only send a quick message, but I can instead do voice to text, uh, keyboard, or emojis. The emojis one's probably my favorite just because I love how Samsung does it. It's very simple and creative. Now, you also have the keyboard one, but the keyboard one is the T9 keyboard. So, yeah, a little old school for me. Uh, you also have the number dial and the uh, symbol dial. Well, I realize some people will know what T9 is. Uh, so yeah, you have lots of real uh, interesting features on there. Uh, overall, I think the navigation is pretty simple, but that's a basic tutorial on how to navigate through the overall watch. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do have any other questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.